Take a look at this video. What do you see? It kind of looks like a light bulb, doesn't it? But wait, it's moving. What you're actually looking at is a flame, but not just any flame. This is a flame that's burning in space. Without gravity around to create what's known as buoyancy, flames lose their characteristic teardrop shape. If a tiny flame behaves so differently in space, what would a large fire do? This question has actually been at the heart of ongoing NASA research for over half a decade. It's especially important as America sets its sights on sending astronauts to the moon and beyond in the coming decades. So what does this research look like? And what do you do if you're an astronaut some 240,000 miles from Earth and a fire breaks out on your spacecraft? Welcome to Learn Something New by NMPA Journal. In recent weeks, former NFL star Michael Strahan and even Captain Kirk himself have traveled into space. The beginnings of what business moguls like Elon Musk and Richard Branson envision as a rich future of commercial space travel. Meanwhile, NASA has announced plans for a second manned moon landing for 2025, and the mid-2030s are being eyed as the time will finally bring humans to Mars. Fire safety has long been a concern for astronauts. In 1997, a fire on a Russian spacecraft nearly forced the evacuation of the crew, but fortunately the blaze burned out before that was necessary. As we head into this new frontier of 21st century space travel, spacecraft fire safety will only become a more pressing issue. In 2016, a NASA project manager called spacecraft fires, quote, one of the greatest crew safety concerns for NASA and the international space exploration community. Because of this, that year, NASA began a series of large-scale fire experiments that continue to this day. The experiments, known as Spacecraft Fire Safety Experiments, or SAFIRE, use unmanned spacecraft as zero-gravity labs for conducting large-scale burns. The spacecraft are used for this purpose after they've completed a mission to deliver goods to the International Space Station. Before Sapphire 1 saw a piece of cotton and fiberglass fiber measuring one meter by a half meter set ablaze in 2016, the largest item intentionally set on fire in space had been roughly the size of an index card. Sapphire 1 through 3 provided NASA with groundbreaking insights into how fire spreads in space. They found, for instance, that flames spread relatively slowly and don't continue growing in size like they do on Earth. And what we learned was the flame very rapidly reached a steady size and shape and spread rate. And it also burned a little bit slower than what we were anticipating. While that may sound favorable, researchers point out that a slow-moving flame might mean smoke production is also slower, resulting in a time delay in detection. Slow-moving fires also produce larger amounts of dangerous carbon monoxide. This and other research has also confirmed that without gravity, fire in space can spread more unpredictably, moving outward rather than upward. Remember, like the spherical flame we saw at the start of this video. Sapphire 4, carried out in May 2020, introduced detection and cleanup technologies, and Sapphire 5, carried out at the very beginning of this year, looked at how a high concentration of oxygen, which would be needed for deep space travel, influences fire spread. By now you might be thinking, wait a minute, there are already astronauts in space, so what happens currently if there's a fire? What does fire protection on spacecraft today look like? The only information from NASA that I could dig up on this was dated 2004. More recent articles from various news sources have been published on detecting and extinguishing fires in space, but they all more or less say the same thing. Firstly, smoke detectors can't just be placed on ceilings like they are on Earth. In space, smoke won't necessarily rise, so they're placed in the ventilation systems of spacecraft. If a fire is detected, astronauts then follow a three-step process. First, they shut off ventilation to slow the spread of fire. Second, they shut off power to the affected area. And third, if they have to, they use fire extinguishers to put out the blaze. Astronauts are also equipped with self-contained breathing apparatus, or SCBA, similar to what firefighters use. A Canadian astronaut demonstrates what that looks like in this video. It's unclear how these safeguards and procedures may change in the future, as insights are gained from research like Sapphire. Either way, fire safety will remain a huge part of NASA and other organizations' priorities as they navigate space travel in 2022 and beyond. 
On a related note, as commercial space travel grows in popularity, so too will the prevalence of facilities known as spaceports. And that's where NFPA is poised to play a role in safety. In fact, a brand new standard, NFPA 461, Standard for Fire Protection of Spaceport Facilities, is currently in the early stages of development. Learn more and keep up with its progress at nfpa.org 461. Thanks for watching. If you like these Learn Something New videos, please let us know by dropping us a comment. Like this video, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to NFPA's YouTube channel for more content like this.